had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks. Alright guys, so we just got the car from SSR. We do have to reassemble the car, but other than that, everything else is still put together, which I'm really, really, really happy about. They helped me load it onto the trailer, which was literally in five minutes compared to my house. Having to bring it onto the ramp literally took me, I think, like an hour. So I'm super, super, super happy about that. At this point, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and jump the car just so I, oh dear, <laughs> just so I can lock the doors and make sure no one goes inside of it because actually, we got some downpipes for another M car right over there just chilling like a villain. Um, so that's gonna be a secret because the future M car is gonna be absolutely insane. But in the meantime, guys, it is fully strapped down. We got everything loaded. Let's quickly just jump the car and then take it back home. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to, your bedroom And the M5 is back. Home sweet home. Any, I don't think I did a proper intro. So what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, we're gonna be reassembling the M5 because uh, SSR took it completely apart. I wish you put it back together, but, but since they gave me the homie discount, I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble everything. I'll go ahead and explain everything towards the end of the video and why I'm reassembling everything and putting the whole front end together. But anywho, I'll keep y'all posted. Just stay tuned to the end of the video for more information on the M5. Meantime, let's go ahead and just reassemble the bad boy. And just like that, guys, so we have everything here for the M5. We have the ignition coil, spark plugs, um, a bunch of carbon fiber, carbon fiber side skirts, carbon fiber rib bumper Inches, carbon fiber diffuser, the fan, a bunch of underbelly pans, a bunch of top pans, the intakes, the bumpers. So you have so many things you have to reassemble on this car. I believe once you have to start taking things apart, I told them to halt the build. I think they actually literally thought that I meant to say, don't do anything else to it. So <laughs> they didn't actually reassemble it for me, but I think that's my fault. Huge shout out to them though for all the support. Again, we'll get into all the information with SSR in the end of this video, but in the meantime, it's going to reassemble all this. We have a lot of work to do. Guys, so many things we have to reinstall. Looks like they had to take all this stuff off just to get to the ignition coils and spark plugs. This thing might actually be out of, oh no, it still has a coolant in there. But yeah, they had to move so much things. Oh, they disconnected literally everything. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and put in all the ignition coils and spark plugs in first. They did label each and every one of them to where they originally were. I'm actually just going to go ahead and mix and match all of them just because uh, that might make any difference whatsoever. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do the ignition coils and spark plugs first. engine put back together and the whole, all the belly pans on the bottom. We have some carbon fiber that I was hoping to install when the car is all gravy in the Navy. This actually came with the car when I bought it, some carbon fiber side skirts. And this is like the bulky nice ones too. I think he did say, it was, he said it's Sabin. I don't really know if it is or not. Doesn't have any Sabin labeling anywhere on it, but it is some really high quality carbon. So let's go ahead and just put it on the car uh, just so we can get all the carbon aesthetics on there. And that car is jacked up on that side right now. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, put it on. Thank you. 
At this point, guys, you have everything in the engine bay assembled. The carbon fiber side skirt on this side, the rear bumper extension, the carbon fiber trunk, everything is working too. Rear carbon fiber and this side skirt as well. This car is absolutely filthy. We're gonna give it a wash in a little minute. But we also have the carbon fiber uh, grills right here, which looks super dope. Um, and yeah, I think the last part is, uh, we have all the belly pans and everything underneath put back on. Let's go ahead and put on the front bumper so this thing's 100% put back together. And then uh, we need to give this thing a proper cleaning. All right, guys, so we finally have the front bumper assembled. The front bumper is slightly damaged. Like, I was gonna have the body shop actually work on these gaps, but uh, any hoozles, it'll do for now. We did get the grills that we did order in before we heard the news from SSR Performance. And uh, now at least we have the bumper fully mounted on both sides. Uh, obviously this could be better gaps, but anyhow, uh, carbon fiber, like I said, all the way around. We have the carbon fiber trunk. Um, at this point, guys, let's go ahead and give it a good wash. And we need to give the battery some juice. So let's go ahead and just do all those real quick. Three, two, one. Taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night Looking at you, making your moves, there is no silence officially at the end of the video and I owe you guys an explanation. So uh, with SSI Performance, we did head down to LA to pick up the car again. Actually went down to San Diego, I made a little trip out of it. Then I went to LA, got the car and came back. That's why I've been off of YouTube for a minute because we had a family trip and I decided, you know what, let me not do any YouTube stuff. Uh, mainly because I don't want to just go out there and just record some stupid stuff and throw it onto the channel and then you guys are just like, what's going on here? I'm only going to be trying to upload good content. So at this point, we did fully reassemble the M5, put a bunch of carbon fiber stuff. We did so much things in this one video that I've ever done in a lot of my other videos. But unfortunately, it's on a car that we're gonna have to let go of now a lot of you guys are hitting me up and even the owner sent me pre sent me videos of this car running just months before um, the accident that she before the crank hub and the whole front end accident he showed me the car is perfectly running a lot of you guys are telling me hey uh, it could have a bad leak down test because it hasn't been running for a while if you replace the flywheel clutch you possibly could be good thing is guys I'm already spending a lot of money on the clutch and flywheel um, and then on top of that getting it to pay you know paying SSR to install it it's gonna be a bunch a bunch a bunch of money and if that doesn't work out at SSR we're gonna have to do some other things and then some other things and then some other things and it's gonna feel like the the seven series all over again at end of the day I, I don't want to risk it like with my luck recently with all the cars <laughs> like you guys saw with all my other videos I honestly just want to get a build that you know for once we can just complete it after spending so much money because honestly guys I am not doing the best in terms of making financial decisions so I'm trying to make the right ones and I know this one a lot of you guys want me to just do the clutch of clutch flywheel there's an 80% chance the car will run and it'll be good to go but there's a 20% chance that it might be you know we need to do some engine work. I do appreciate SSR though for being the kind of company that's not like, you know, I already towed the car to them. I already gave them everything. I even gave them the money. I was like, hey, you guys, just get the work done. Let's move forward. They're the ones that actually called me and was like, hey, Nor, I don't know if you want to really go through with this. If you do, we did some other testing with the engine. They could have just installed the flywheel clutches, which is what I paid them to do, but they were like, you know what? Here's your money back. Um, I don't know if you want to, you know, go through with this. You can if you if you want, but I, there's, there's a chance, 20% chance that it may not start or it may not run right. So, uh, you know, with me and my luck recently, 20% is a pretty big percentage. So, anyhow, that's the reason why we have the car back, and that's the reason we need to install the flywheel and clutch. The next M car we are getting on this channel, I've already been in contact with the owner, and we're trying to figure out the logistics and everything. It's a huge, huge, huge purchase, probably like as big of a purchase as, uh, you know, one of my biggest cars, which you guys know. Um, it's not a supercar or anything like that, it's just a high end M car. Um, I've, I've, I've owned something similar, but not the same thing. If, uh, I, I can't give away too much information. But anywho, we're trying to work on that. Um, and also, um, he had some issues with his car. So I was supposed to get the car like a couple days ago. Um, like as soon as I get back from my trip, I was supposed to get the car. Things happen and uh, you know, I ended up having, he started having some issues with the car, some major issues, like thousand dollar issues. So I was like, hey, you know what? Can you get all those fixed? And then we'll go ahead and move forward with the transaction. 
action and that's what's happening right now. So I'll keep you guys in the loop, but in the meantime, the M5 is for sale. So if any of you guys want to tackle this project, there's a good chance it just needs a flywheel and clutch. But if you guys are getting this car, just you know, be prepared. It is a V10 M5, and uh, you know, these these cars are known not to be the most reliable cars in the world. What I do like about this one though, it is a clean title LCI V10 with a bunch of carbon fiber in it. Like it's an absolutely pretty good shape. The front end, the gaps and everything does need some work, and we do this there are some panels that need to get repainted. Uh, but I mean, other than that, I mean, it's a pretty freaking immaculate car. I absolutely love the car and how it looks. It has so many features for the year. I mean, 2008 has heads up display, comfort, clothes, heated seats, heated steering, rear sun shades, like the, all the features, individual sound system, uh, you know, fold down seats, Alcantara roof. Like there's so many things with this car. It's absolutely insane. It's actually one, probably one of my best spec cars I've ever had. And I couldn't wait to spec it out more. So again, you special shout out to Azza for trying to support the build. Unfortunately, we are not putting this on the car. Uh, we're gonna hopefully get a new M wheel for our next car. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and send this back and try to get something else for the, the future M car. Without further ado, guys, I'll keep y'all posted with the new M car and the M5 in the next video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.